It may be hard to imagine an NFL without Peyton Manning, but the prolific quarterback has expressed that Super Bowl 50 could be his final hurrah. It may be even harder to remember a time when the league was without Peyton because he was drafted way back in 1998. While Manning has consistently been one of the best quarterbacks over the last 18 years, the rest of the sports world and our ways of life have changed in many ways. You may recall back in the late 90s, Bill Clinton was president amid the Monica Lewinsky scandal. No iPhones or unlimited texting. You had to use one of these funky Nokia phones. Titanic won Best Picture, and you didn't find out about it on Twitter. Social media was limited to AOL Instant Messenger, and your buddy list featured friends with sappy song lyrics in their away messages. In football, Manning's current boss, John Elway, won his second Super Bowl, defeating the Atlanta Falcons. The league's divisions were all sorts of out of whack. The Arizona Cardinals were in the NFC East, while the Carolina Panthers were in the NFC West. Manning's opponent in Super Bowl 50, Cam Newton, was just a wee nine-year-old boy, most likely watching Manning on Sundays. And Manning's biggest rivals, Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, were relatively unknown. Brady was a quarterback in Michigan, and Belichick a defensive backs coach with the New York Jets. Perhaps the biggest way the game has changed in the 18 years since Manning was drafted has been in the passing game. In 1998, the league's most accurate quarterback had a completion percentage of 63%. That figure was the league average in 2015. Manning was part of a new crop of quarterbacks, including Brady, Ben Roethlisberger, and Drew Brees that revolutionized the game and turned the NFL into a pass-happy league.